with a little bit of Zelda. We have four topics we need to uh, review before you can take the test. Writing ratios, solving proportions, solving percent problems, and solving equations for y. They're all pretty easy. Let's look at the first uh, example we have. It's just simply writing ratios. Mr. Bruss has 26 pairs of socks, of which 18 have holes in the toes. Find the ratio of the number of socks that have holes to the number of socks that do not have holes. So we're looking for the ratio of socks that do have holes to socks that do not have holes. That's easy enough. Uh, they tell us 18 socks do, and the number that do not, they don't tell us. They tell us the total number, so we have to figure that out. That's 8. So if I want to reduce this, I can. It's not required, but I'm going to because it's good habit here. 18, 8, a 2 can be taken out of both, so that's 9 to 4. So 9 do for every 4 that do not. If you want to write it with a colon, you can do that as well. You just write it like this. 9 do to every 4 that do not. There you go. That's the first problem. How easy was that? That was easy. All right, next problem is proportions. This is one of the harder ones. We're going to cross multiply. I picked this problem because you have to distribute. So hopefully you remember that. Remember when Bruss taught you that? Huh? Remember that? You remember that? We've got in chapter 2. Uh, distributive property here. 4v plus 28 equals negative 12v minus 12. Alright, everybody get that? Did I do that right? So I multi I cro I'm cross multiplying here. Well, I probably wrote these on the wrong side, didn't I? That's okay though. They're equal to each other. You can write them either way. So now uh, you want to solve this equation. I would uh, add 12v. Remember, pick the smaller variable and get rid of that first. And the opposite of negative 12 is positive 12. So that'll make those cancel. I'm left with 16v plus 28 will be equal to negative 12. Let's get rid of the 28 now. The opposite of adding 28 is subtracting 28. So that'll do that. They cancel. Uh, 16v comes down equal to negative 40. So now we just need to divide by 16. Hey, how about that? v equals negative 2.5 if you work that out. Um, there's that proportion. Hey, that was easy. All done with that one. Next problem. Ooh, percent problems. So what number is, we're going to use, let me write it up here. We got the percent over 100 is equal to is over of. Remember, that's how we learned it. So what number is 14% of 300? So what number is? So the is is an x. The of is 300. The 14%, that means over 100. There you go. So now you just cross multiply. You're going to get 100x equal to, what do you get there? Look at it, 4,200, good. X will equal 42. Divide both sides by 100. But you should know that by now. Don't ask where do you get that from. Look, divide both sides by 100. That's the next step. Next one, what percent? We don't know the percent, so we're going to get, uh, I'll put a P over 100 for percent. I always like to use P, so when I get to the end, I, for, I don't forget my percent sign. It's of 20 and is 36. So it's 36 over 20. So 20p will equal 3,600. If I divide both sides by 20, p will equal 180. Easy enough. Not done yet. Percent. Remember, I used p, so I wouldn't forget. Last one. Uh, 90 music students out of 336 total students is what percent? So it's p out of 100 equals 90 out of 336. The of is 336. So you cross multiply. We get 336p equals 9,000. Divide both sides. You can see the little work over here. Oh, let's bring that up so we can see it. 26.7. That is ugly. The directions will tell you on the test to round it to the nearest percent. So that will round up to 27% because the number right here is 5 or greater, so it rounds up to 27%. Don't forget your percent sign. Done with that one. Last type, solving for y. You need to get y by itself, so in number 5, I subtract 4x from each side. It goes away. What comes down here? Think about it. What's coming down? Negative 5y. Equal sign. 
Now you got these two things. You cannot get 36x or whatever. You no, you can't do that. It's 40 minus 4x. Well, they can't combine. They're not like terms. So I'm going to write the x term first. I'm going to write the 40 second, just because I like the x term first. That's called slope intercept form we're putting it in. You might not know why, but I know why. It's coming up. Fives cancel. Y equals negative 4 over negative 5 is 4 fifths. Do not give us 0.8. Uh, 40 over negative 5 is negative 8. So there is that equation all simplified for us. Y equals 4 fifths X minus 8. Last one here. Let's get rid of the 7. So subtract 7 from each side. Ta-da! They cancel. Let's read it left to right. 3x minus 7, then the equal sign, negative y. Uh, divide by negative 1, divide by negative 1, divide by negative 1. There you go, repeating myself. They cancel. Let's read it left to right like a book. 3 divided by negative 1 is negative 3, then the x. We have a negative 7 over negative 1, that's a positive 7, and that will equal y. Ta -da. Now, if you actually watched my shortcut video, I'm going to change, let's go blue. If you watched my shortcut video, which I hope you did, uh, I taught you that you can just flip things over. So I'm just going to flip that Y over here, and I'm going to flip that 3X over there. So what am I going to get if I do that? Remember, you got to change the sign. So you get Y, and then you get the equal sign. And when the 3X comes over, it becomes negative, and then the 7's hanging out. Hey, look, you get the same answer doing it that way. That was my shortcut method. Uh, make sure you can do that though before you try it. You gotta practice it. Look at the homework. Make sure you're doing it right. Don't do the whole test wrong, then have to do a recheck. So that is the end of the review. Go through, do the review sheets, uh, check your answers, and let your teacher know when you're ready to smash this test. Good luck to you.